Imagine staring deep into the night sky beyond what the eye can see billions of light years away. Now, picture uncovering evidence that shakes the very core of what we believed about the universe. Everything our trusted theories, the elegant equations, even the most basic physical laws begins to unravel. The cosmos, once seen as a well-ordered expanse, now appears to be harboring secrets so profound they defy comprehension, since its deployment, the James Webb Space Telescope has provided more than just stunning imagery. It has exposed unsettling inconsistencies in our understanding of the universe. With each new discovery, long-held assumptions are crumbling, and what we once thought was certain is now under question. In this video, we'll explore some of the most groundbreaking revelations from Webb. These are not just surprising. They're forcing astronomers to rewrite the very story of the cosmos. Be warned once you hear what has been found. Your perception of the universe may never be the same. Our story begins with three distant galaxies faint spakes suspended in the darkness captured by Webb's powerful infrared sensors. At first glance, they seemed like many others, but these galaxies were different. They were massive, compact, and far too evolved for their age. This suggested that something entirely unfamiliar might be fueling them. That's where the theory of dark. Stars enters objects not powered by nuclear fusion like ordinary stars. But by the annihilation of dark matter itself, the once considered speculative, dark stars were first proposed in 2007 as theoretical entities from the early universe. Now, for the first time, we may have detected their traces. These ancient galaxies don't align with any known model of cosmic formation. If dark stars are indeed real, it would mean that the earliest structures in the universe were not forged by light, but by a substance we still cannot directly detect, dark matter, which makes up about 85% of the universe's mass, might not only shape galaxies that might ignite them. Such a possibility would force us to reconsider how stars form, how galaxies are born, and even how black holes originate. While Webb was peering deep into ancient space, it also turned its gaze toward a much closer world or super-Earth called GJ1 to 1 for B, orbiting a red dwarf just 40 light years from Earth, once believed to be far too hot to host life. Recent thermal observations revealed regions with surprisingly temperate conditions. But then came an even more unexpected discovery. Webb detected water vapor, methane, and an unusually dense atmosphere clues pointing toward a world possibly covered entirely by a massive ocean. What's even more remarkable is that methane and water together often signal the potential for life not proof, but strong indicators, and there's more. Webb picked up hints of dimethyl sulfide, a compound on Earth produced only by living organisms, such as phytoplankton. The implications are staggering. This could be our first real evidence of alien biochemistry on a planet once dismissed as lifeless. Now, imagine something as familiar as smoke from a match or the burning of a forest. Webb has detected something chemically similar polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons near the very edge of the observable universe. These complex organic molecules, typically found in car exhaust and burnt organic matter on Earth, were discovered drifting through space just 750 million years after the Big Bang. These aren't just random molecules, they're considered prebiotic. The essential ingredients for DNA, proteins, and cells. If these building blocks were already scattered across the cosmos so early, it raises a chilling question. What prevented life from forming elsewhere long before it did on Earth? Then there are the galaxies, not just any galaxies, but ones hosting. Supermassive black holes, some over a thousand times larger than the one at the heart of our own Milky Way emerging less than 100 million years after the Big Bang. According to our current understanding, this simply shouldn't be possible. These galaxies are compact, bright, and develop far more so than they should be for their age. Some scientists are calling this a crisis in cosmology. One astrophysicist put it plainly, you could make the data fit our models, but only if something wildly exotic and fast happened in the early universe. If these observations are accurate, then the foundational principles of cosmology may be deeply flawed. 
Among the most provocative ideas arising from Webb's data is that the universe may not have had a single beginning deep within the distorted. Images caused by gravitational lensing around ancient clusters, researchers have started to see irregularity signals of expansion that don't align with the standard Big Bang narrative. A new theory is gaining traction, the idea of a cyclical universe, one that is born, dies, and is reborn in an eternal loop. Some regions of space appear to be expanding at rates that don't match the known Hubble constant, suggesting we may be witnessing echoes from a previous cosmic cycle. If this is true, it not only undermines our sense of linear time, it implies that we might be just one version in a chain of countless universes. What remains hidden from those previous realities? And what might they have left behind? Then came. An image that left astrophysicists speechless a perfect ring of galaxies stretching over 1.3 billion light years. This was not a cluster, nor a visual distortion caused by gravitational lensing, but a genuine circular chain of galaxies. The existence of this ring challenges our understanding of gravity, entropy, and cosmic structure formation. Some theorists believe it could be evidence of topological defects in spacetime cosmic scars formed when the universe cooled to rapidly after the Big Bang. Until now, these structures existed only in theoretical simulations and string theory papers. But the ring may be a real wound in the fabric of reality, suggesting that spacetime itself may not be smooth, but scarred and unstable. If that's the case, what else could be hidden in these fractures of the cosmos? Even more puzzling is a recurring pattern buried in deep space radio signals. Although the James Webb Space Telescope wasn't built to detect sound, its instruments begin picking up peculiar modulations in the electromagnetic background rhythmic pulses with strange consistency. Initially dismissed as glitches, cross-checks with older data from missions like Voyager and Chandra revealed the same frequencies coming from the same region of space. Some believe it could be a signal a mathematical structure to organized, to be random, whether it's a natural phenomenon or something engineered, we don't yet know. But one thing is clear, something out there is sending signals, and it appears to be aimed right at us. Dot here single quotes as the paradox, Webb was designed to look into the past, yet the more it reveals, the more it seems to disrupt our vision of the future. Each image, each anomaly, chips away at the framework of modern physics. The standard model trembles, our estimates of the universe's age waver. Even the rate of cosmic expansion no longer aligns with expectations. Time itself begins to appear unstable, fragmented, irregular, and unpredictable. What once seemed a linear timeline is now littered with voids, sudden leaps, and gaps where light behaves in bizarre ways. We didn't just build a telescope, we opened a door. And the trouble with doors is you never know what might come through. Webb was engineered to go beyond visible light to peer into the unseen. And now it's uncovering phenomena that don't emit light at all, gravitational anomalies within seemingly empty voids. These invisible mass islands twist and bend light, even though they contain no stars, no galaxies, and no detectable. Matter, they defy dark matter simulations, and some physicists suspect that entire regions may be operating under different physical laws. If that's true, we're not just looking through space, we're seeing into alternate versions of reality, pockets of a cosmic multiverse caught in gravitational tangles. And that leads to the most unnerving question, what could be hiding in these realms where our laws no longer apply? As Webb continues its deep exploration, an unsettling realization is taking root among scientists and philosophers alike. With every layer it reveals, it might not just be observing the universe, it could be changing it. This idea, known as the cosmic observer effect, suggests that the act of observing on such a vast scale might influence quantum states across unfathomable distances. Some theorists call it the quantum entanglement of perception, our gaze, it seems isn't neutral, it's active disruptive, perhaps even transformative. Webb might not simply be uncovering the universe's secrets, it could be reshaping them in real time. And if our observation can influence reality, what happens when we stare too long into the void and the void stares back?